The best man speech. Arguably the most important role of the wedding after the bride and groom themselves. Traditionally, a lot of responsibility falls on the shoulders of the best man, as you've had to be on hand to help with all kinds of things in the run-up to the wedding and on the big day itself. And on top of all that, you have to deliver a killer best man speech. Most of the time, you're last to speak after everyone has been nostalgic and told you a range of personal stories. You are there to be entertaining and get everyone in a great mood while celebrating the bride and groom before the after-dinner party starts. Sometimes you may be asked to be the MC for the event, which means getting everyone's attention and introducing each speaker and looking after the running order. Other times you'll just be asked to speak at the end. Check with the bride and groom which way they would prefer you look after the speeches. Essentially, your speech is to be light-hearted and poke some gentle fun at the groom while complimenting his new bride. It is expected that the best man will be a bit of fun and make a bit of fun of the groom, but this has to be done carefully you always have to make sure you're being good-natured and never vindictive. You want this speech to be remembered for all the right reasons. If you're wondering where the limit of good-natured joking is, try and look at the speech from the bride and groom's point of view and the view of their parents. Don't forget the laughs have to come from the guests, so make sure you're not being too personal or you have lots of inside jokes that they won't get the punchlines for, so they won't be able to support you. You need to keep the jokes granny-friendly and kid-friendly. Innuendo is okay, but no jokes about exes or anything too dodgy. The thank yous have already been done, really, so you just need the formalities of making sure that everyone who should have been thanked has been thanked, including the venue organizers, the band, etc. You will also be reading out the messages and cards from anyone not able to attend the wedding. Introduction. Unless you're having a very small and intimate wedding, you may not know everybody, and many of the relatives from the other family or guests partners won't know who you are, so you'll have to introduce yourself as the best man and explain your relationship to the groom. The cards and thank yous should be considered the formality and the first thing you get done after introducing yourself before you get started on your speech properly. Your five minute timer will start once you have that out of the way. You get an extra minute or two leeway as you have to wrap up the formalities of the day for the guests. Lucky you. The groom. Obviously, the main part of your speech should be about the groom and poking fun at him while complimenting the bride at length. Try to pick out personal stories that highlight his personality, his sense of humor, or shared experiences you've had that show how you know that he and the bride are perfect for each other. Recalling personal memories of times you spent together before he knew his bride or since they met are what the guests are really looking for here. These are usually some situations he got himself into as a younger man and had to learn from them with a tinge of embarrassment. We're not looking to destroy his character here, just make him feel a little uneasy knowing that you have a lot of embarrassing stories in your arsenal. If you have any personal stories about what happened in the background during the early stages of the courtship, if he was planning a date that didn't go well or some funny misunderstandings that aren't too personal, this can be a funny insight into how you knew that these two were meant for each other. The tone of your speech is very important, as it needs to be a mix of good-natured jokes and compliments for the bride, keeping everybody upbeat and happy. There's a full video later on as to how to start structuring your speech and how to brainstorm ideas. The best way to finish your speech is with a final anecdote and a desire to see the couple build a happy and loving future together. Remember, you really want to keep your main speech to five minutes or under. It might be tough to cut some great anecdotes and stories, especially from people in the wedding party, but if there are a few speeches, your guests will thank you for keeping it brief. You can always tell people that you have a few other stories that you had to cut from the speech to save the groom's total public humiliation, but you're more than happy to tell stories one-to-one -one after dinner.